Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today? So today we're back here with some Fleetwood Mac, man. Gonna be checking out The Chain, all right? Checking out this song the, from the Rumors, right? So I've heard the entire album of Rumors is just banging, man. We're going to The Chain right now, Fleetwood Mac. Let's go ahead and hop into this one. I saw there's a live, ver live version from one of the concerts I've done. So I look forward to getting into that in the future, but I want to check out the studio version right now of this one, man. So let's go ahead and hop in. Listen to the chain. See what's going on right here with Fleetwood Mac. Uh, I believe most of this album consisted of talking about issues that were experienced with uh, Lindsay and Stevie. I, I want to say that's about right. So we'll keep note of that in our mind and see if I can pick up on any kind of subtle, you know, I don't know, anything. Um, whether it's hidden messages or direct. Uh, we'll see. But that's only part of what we've paying attention to trying to see if there's a bigger uh, picture here maybe nothing related to that at all I, I really don't know so let's hop in check out the chain Fleetwood Mac here we go man Fantastic. It was a little kind of western to me right now. Mm. Is that a banjo, by the way? Okay, the lyrical stuff sounds connected. Dang, that's just meaty, bro. Banging. Little pauses. This work. That's hard. This is a tough track. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, man. What is this switch?
Wow. Oh, man. I didn't want this thing to end, bro. Like, that was just a crazy liftoff, man. That was a crazy liftoff. Dude, the tale of two halves, man. The first half, outstanding. Second half, outstanding, man. The vibe on the first part is just wild. I don't know if that's a banjo and a guitar happening with a nice little drum and the, the, the bass and the pauses and Stevie just saying, man, you say you would never break this chain, man. If you don't love me now, then you'll never love me again. I mean, she's, man, the heartache is all on this. Um, then you get that break, doom, 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 doom. I mean, dude, the bass, the building, drum, uh, the guitar coming in. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, my God, dude. That was a takeoff, man. That was a takeoff. That was a beautiful ride into just takeoff, man. Dope, 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 man. The Fleetwood Mac, the chain. Now I really want to dive into the live, man. But let's go ahead and learn a little bit about this one. That was fire. Pure fire, man. Enjoyed Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Let's learn a little bit about this thing. That was a baller, bro. Let's let's see what's up. All right, so we've got this one right here from Fleetwood Mac, man. The Chain released in 1976. Songwriters is Lindsay, Mick, Christine, John, and Stevie on this one, man. It's the only song from the album with writing credits for all five members on Rumors, man. The Chain was created from combinations of several previously rejected materials, including solo work by Lindsay, Stevie Nicks, and Chris, uh, Christine the song was assembled often manually by splicing tapes with razor blades. Um, I've heard of that being done. I don't quite know what that looks like, but I've heard of that being done with other tracks that I learned about. I think one of who was kind of a big one that did that early on when I was learning about it. I want to say maybe Je uh, Jeff Lynn from ELO, but there was somebody else that was really involved in splicing tapes to get the best of it. I can't remember who I had read that about. Following the critical and commercial success of Rumors of Chain has become a staple of the band's live shows, typically the opening song. Ooh, man, opening to that thing is fire, man. As well as several of the band's greatest hit compilations, this has been included on background. According to interviews on writing of Rumors, the final section of the chain, begin, uh, beginning with a bass progression, was created by John McVie and Mick Fleetwood. Other elements were worked in form... Uh, in from an earlier project of Christine's called Keep Me There, which removed the blue style motif, but retained the chord progression. Lindsey Buckingham reworked the song by re recycling the intro of earlier songs uh, from a duet with Nick's Lola, My Love, originally released on their self-titled 1973 album. During the verses, Buckingham instructed Fleetwood to play a straight quarter note pattern on the ki kick drum, uh, the dobra. I liked how loud the drumming was on this, man. It was very upfront every time and you could feel those switches and the beats man it was very good the dobro a type of resonator guitar supplied the verse riff i wonder if that's what uh i was hearing there then that must have been it the dobro um if i'm saying that right man stevie nicks has had written the lyrics separately and thought they would be a good match she and christine mcvee did some reworking to create the first section of the tune nicks lyrics referred to the breakup of her relationship with buckingham a theme of many of nicks and uh buckingham's lyrics on rumors due to the splice nature of the record the drums and guitar the only instruments recorded in each other's company and its sporadic composition and assembly from different rejected songs the chain is one of only a few Fleetwood Mac songs whose authorship is credited to all. Yeah. Um, so I wonder if the pauses that happen early in the song, you get like two pauses and then maybe a, another. Was there a pause going into the second half of the song? I don't think so. I think it just kind of dropped and then it came in the bass right away. The bass line building up. Uh, but you get two pauses early on. I wonder if that's because if that has anything to do with the splicing or or kind of mending the song together the way they built it together. Um, so yeah, Lindsay was on electric guitar, dobro, and lead vocals. So man, that 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 instrument sounded wild on the other, man. Love this one. This was just, this was crazy. Fretless bass guitar on there. Fretless bass guitar, man. Um, very dope. Very dope track, man. I enjoyed this one a lot. A lot. I look forward to checking out the live version when we get around to that. That's going to be awesome, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed rocking with me. Let me know more from Fleetwood Mac because we haven't even, you know, 
dove in just a bit in this I, I don't feel like our toes are even wet when it comes to fleetwood mac man so we got more to dive into please let me know more that you guys want on the channel man don't forget if you're enjoying the content i produce on a daily basis please consider becoming a member here on my youtube or patreon for as little as three bucks it's a great way to give back to the channel if you're enjoying the content i produce don't forget man to like subscribe check out the description thank you guys for rocking with me today and i'll see you guys on the next one all right peace out man